any of you know this, but at the end of this year, after 28 years, Mr. Holden is retiring from Los Angeles. And I know, I feel the same way. And so for today, let me say that there are alumni who go back a quarter century who still ask me when I see them, is Mr. Holden giving the fresh start speech? You will be one of those people, either at the end of this year or in several years, and you will be able to say, I was in the audience when Mr. Holden gave that fresh start speech in his final year. This is a big moment, Mr. Holden. Each year, I'm truly excited about the start of the school year because every person, each one of us in this room, gets a fresh start. In a school, we leave for the summer and return having changed from the person we were back in June. To grow as a person and for the fresh start to work for you, this is each one of you has to pay attention and think about yourself now throughout this. You have to set personal goals. I suggest committing yourself to two or three measurable goals. Things that you can actually tell you are achieving and attaining. Especially working at something that you are not so good at doing. You only become stronger and a better student and person by working at what you aren't good at. You're already good at the good stuff. You get stronger by taking something that is not your strength. And it's hard to work at what you're not, what, what you most likely don't like to do. To work relentlessly, consistently, and to persevere at improving that aspect of your personality or skill as a successful student. As many of you have heard me say before, but it never changes. We each have 24 hours each day to live our lives, and we do it in four ways. The first is establishing those meaningful relationships with our family, friends, peers, and colleagues. Second is maintaining our health. We eat, we exercise, we sleep more about sleep later. We follow a passion, something to look forward to that we love to do, that we will bring to college. And we do our job, being a student, a teacher, or an administrator running a school. What will your goal be this year? So here are just a few. A relationship goal. I will truly listen to my friends. I will work at being empathetic, trying truly to feel what others are feeling. How good are you at empathy? I'll be honest, I'll take responsibility for my actions, I'll allow my friends to change as part of today's speech. Last one, I will truly be myself and drop all the other roles that cover up the real me. I don't feel great when I'm not the real me. So health goal. Three eating goals, I'll eat breakfast, three pieces of fruit, and only one soda a day. The exercise goal, I will exercise vigorously at least three times a week for 30 minutes. And the sleep goal, I will get eight to 10 hours of sleep, 10, nine, eight-ish out there as we move our way up through the building. Getting sleep helps us to remember things. And memory is at the core of learning. You need sleep to learn. And it's a tough one because we cheat on it all the time. In your job of being a student, one of the goals might be I'll get to school on time, I'll work at my writing skills, I will persist and persevere until the project is accomplished in the best way that I can do it. I'll do each homework assignment thoroughly, completely, and remember to bring it to school. I'll keep my laptop charged. I will go for history help. I'll take a risk. Mr. Kozaski challenged you to try something new. I'll try out for the fall play, the winter musical, the middle school musical. I'll work actively at learning about me and how my brain works. Let me say that one again. I'll work actively at learning about me and how my brain works, because that's how you're going to be successful at doing the job of being a student. And I will take real pride in all that I do each day. And finally, the passion goal, that's a tough one to 
because when you're busily doing the job, finding time to do this and looking forward to it is something that's going to help sustain you. So work at that passion and develop it so you have something to bring with you to college. So there are two groups in the room. Students, teachers, and staff members who are new to St. Andrew's community. This group has the purest, fresh start. And all the rest of us, the returning veteran students, teachers, and staff members in their second, third, fourth, 13th, 19th, 28th, 35th, or 36th year at St. Andrews. This group has a fresh start. But each person in this group needs to help all the rest of us returning veterans to allow that true fresh start. You who are new can be the person you truly want to be. This is a tremendous gift. It's not going to happen again until you go to college. All returning veterans, students, teachers, and staff members, look at the person sitting or standing to your right. I see you actively participated. Left. Very likely the person is a returning veteran. Friends expect you to be the same way you were when you left last June. Friends would be uncomfortable with you being different. Please let your friends change. Each returning veteran has two responsibilities. To take advantage of your own fresh start and to let your friends take advantage of their personal fresh start. Release your friends from having to be the way they were when they left last June. This is the greatest gift that you can give a friend. So I challenge you. Be the person you want to be. Remember that the only person you can control is yourself. The fresh start opportunity only comes once a year. Take full advantage of it and let your friends take full advantage of your fresh start. Each one of us has a responsibility to do both. It's time to get to first period for which we're a little late right now. Please help those who are new to find their way and make it a